3.1 all the way up here in Washington and again that's just the last 24 hours. Now let me take you back a full seven days okay and we're gonna focus in on North America first and then we'll look at what I think the cause of all this is and maybe what might happen over the next couple of weeks but look at the United States okay you can see these multiple 3.0's here we have one that occurred in Yellowstone borderline threes that occurred in Nebraska and Colorado Colorado New Mexico border and then two 3.0's that struck in Oklahoma and a borderline 4.0 that struck up here in Quebec Canada now if you connect all these dots from the Pacific Northwest going down to Texas back up here to Canada it would form a giant U shape and that's the edge of the North American craton which is showing the pressure it's showing the buildup that's occurring along the west coast along up in Alaska we saw 5.6 yesterday and then look at the West Pacific last seven days now keep in mind internationally we're only seeing 4.0 and greater so we see 2.5 and greater in the US 4.0 internationally and you can see as I've been talking a 4.3 just struck down here west of Vanuatu can't ever pronounce that right but Vanuatu and then basically you can see the 4.0 5.0 activity going from Japan north of Japan in the Kuril Islands let me turn these down so you can see the countries here okay so we have Russia Kuril Islands and then going south through Japan on the east coast of Japan still multiple fours and borderline 5.0 earthquakes right off the coast where we saw the 9.0 happen last year now further south from there off the Ryukyu Islands a swarm has been occurring multiple 4 and 5.0's here and then south near Taiwan this being Taiwan here 5.5 just struck off the northeast coast and then you see the cluster points okay so we have Indonesia down here Papua New Guinea Vanuatu over here to the east where this cluster is and then Sumatra where we saw the huge tsunami many years ago that killed hundreds of thousands of people that was over here so when you look at the entire region you can see multiple large earthquakes are still occurring okay and let me turn the rings back up here to give you the size indication out of control four and five multiple 6.0 earthquakes over the last several weeks and then extending west across China South Russia going through the Middle East and going up into Europe where we saw 4.4 in Denmark so this says to me we need to watch Europe as well and to get into that we have to go look at the charts a little differently but again just take a look at the picture overall large amount of movement in the West Pacific compensation movement happening on the East Pacific going down to South America up the West Coast now we're starting to see a pickup on the West Coast which means we need to be prepared California Oregon Washington and then the states along the edge of the North American craton which again extends from the Pacific Northwest south through Texas back to the Northeast we saw the large earthquake in Virginia last year that caused damage to the Washington Monument felt on the East Coast so that means look at this dead spot we do need to watch because all the other areas are showing that compensation movement we do need to watch this region as well that's been absent the last seven days okay South America from basically central Mexico going down here to Peru where we saw the large 6.0 strike down here okay Peru then going down south through Chile basically along the coast we need to watch for the next two weeks and that could be for 6.0 or greater activity think about it last time we saw a large earthquake down here was many many months ago in the 7.0 range so I would say we do need to watch to the south for a large earthquake to strike and that's just because of all the other movement going on around the rest of the ring of fire okay as we go down to the south look at South Pole basically off the west coast of Antarctica and all around the east side so we're going basically from South America across over to Africa multiple 5.0 striking here and then a silent mid-Atlantic ridge going throughout the central Atlantic but once you get south we see all this activity and then once you get to the north there were multiple earthquakes occurring up here to the north which are not shown on this map it was more than seven days ago now but right here at the geographic North Pole north of Greenland north of Svalbard multiple four and five point O's. you can see the spillover happening okay again like I said from Asia going right through to Europe we need to watch this entire region here from multiple five point O's, multiple six point O's that could occur further south so right down here in Turkey and Greece all right this cluster of four point O's, possible six point O activity next two two weeks and we are in a Middle East conflict going on over here so we do need to watch for other activity that might show up as earthquake activity like we, last year in Libya when the 8.8 .8 struck 
and it turned out to be a man-made explosion of some kind. Okay, so let's go look at a few charts. Let's go look at the European agency first. Since the USGS and European agencies don't really share information, we only see the rather large earthquakes that are listed. I'm Jonathan Mann at CNN Center with the latest developments on deadly tremors in northwestern Iran. Details are still sketchy, but Iranian media report at least 50 people have died in a pair of earthquakes near the city of Tabriz. The Islamic Student News Agency says 400 people are hurt. These are some of the first images we have seen from Tabriz, a city of roughly a million people where, as you can see, residents have taken to parks and public spaces to get outside of their buildings. Tabriz uh, is a city that, uh, because it's, well, roughly uh, 50 kilometers from the epicenter, as recorded by the U.S. Geological Survey, has uh, suffered moderate shaking and uh, apparently, as best we can tell, light damage. More seriously is the city of Ahar, Iran, a city of roughly 100,000 people, much closer, 30 kilometers from the epicenter. There, according to our best indications, and this is a shake map, uh, the shaking would have been very strong and we could expect moderate damage. This is a very busy geological region. Uh, earthquakes and deadly earthquakes are sadly familiar to people in Iran and neighboring Armenia, Turkey as well. These were measured at magnitude 6.3 and 6.4, so strong they were felt in several nearby towns, and there have been several strong aftershocks. CNN is following the story closely. We'll bring you updates as we have new information. But now Iranian media are confirming that the quakes in the north of the country have taken dozens of lives. I'm Jonathan Mann.
در راه روشن فردا دنیا میبیند از ما را فردا دنیا با حیرت خواهد دید ایران فاتح قل ها را همواره در احتزازیم سر بلند و سر فرازیم در راه سازندگی با هم یک دل و یک صدا هم راه و هم نوا می سازیم فردا را با هم یک دل و یک صدا هم راه و هم نوا می سازیم فردا Oh, oh, oh.